A year ago, I deleted social media. I was completely addicted. It was stripping me away from my time, from my goals, and people. I kept on seeing videos telling me that I should dopamine detox and get rid of social media. So I did. I thought that it would change my life, like all the videos said it would. And it did. At least, not in the way that you'd think. So I've wanted to talk about this problem for a while as it's been pretty relevant in my life and I'm sure it would be in yours too. Mm. Ah, that's hot. Obviously there were some pros to deleting social media. The biggest one for me being time. Social media is an addiction for many people and it was for me for the longest time. My average day would look like wake up, check my phone, scroll for a bit, eat breakfast, scroll while eating breakfast, go to school, do school, go home, then scroll. That's it. That's not the best way to spend your time, huh? There's also the mental health aspect. The fact that it messes with your dopamine levels leads to an increased risk of depression and anxiety, and I'm sure you've heard the rest. Deep down, we all know how terrible social media is for us, yet a lot of us still choose to use it. But is it really such a bad thing? Mm. <laughs> now, I would have never thought that there would have been anything bad that comes with deleting social media, but you'll be surprised to know that there is. I can't help but feel alienated from literally everyone else who has social media. When I used to have Instagram and Snapchat, I'd stay relatively connected to everyone. You know, we'd have group chats and share videos and talk every day about whatever. Life was breezy. Now, because I don't have social media, I'm less connected. Even though I have people's phone numbers and WhatsApps, it feels pretty spontaneous and out of the blue to just message someone with no real reason other than just see how they're doing. Maybe it's just me, but because I'm not as accessible, People don't talk to me. Well, I'm not completely blaming social media for my shitty friendships, or lack thereof. It doesn't help that in order to interact with most, like, 99% people nowadays, you kind of have to have the apps installed. And for a while, I had the apps, but swore to only use them for the chatting functions. Somehow, someway, it'd always find a way to get to me. The doom scrolling, that is. Not only the fact that I'm not as connected with everyone else now, but I find it difficult to relate to those who scroll. I have friends who would show me reels or TikToks and the humour is just third grade unintelligent humour. Or just astonishing content like one of my friends keeps on complaining to me about how every third scroll down is just like some car crash which is like how is that allowed on Instagram? Also side tangent, I had to search up what chat is this real and what the sigma means because I hear so many people at my school just saying it and I had no clue what any of it meant. Thank goodness I'm not saying it unironically because it just sounds dumb. <laughs> um, my, my tea is getting cold so I'm just gonna finish the- oh. Uh, I just spilled a bunch on my knee. No, my tea. You can't see the tea on my knee. Now I gotta clean up my knee. It's all wet and sticky. At least it wasn't hot though. Don't get me wrong though. I'm not hating on those who choose to use social media. It's in our world now. It's up to you whether or not you want to use it. But sometimes I think about how cool it would be to live like 20 years ago when the internet was still a baby and people had Nokias and Blackberries and kids actually went outside. Wow, I sound like some 50 year old man who's angry at some young whippersnappers with their VR headsets and e-cigarettes to get off my lawn or something. <laughs> I don't know. So, do I think that social media is good for you? Well, yes and no. It helps us remain connected and share our lives, which is great. But it also sucks our time, and it ain't great for our mental health. So, should you quit? Is it really that bad? Well, 
Yes and no. I was a victim to the doom scrolling and the content overconsumption, so I'm glad that I no longer waste my life doing that. But it does suck that my social life has turned to dookie. D dookie. Do do dookie. Dookie it has turned. It has turned to dookie. <laughs> why, does it, why does that not sound like a real word? Part of it is my fault, I'll admit. Instead of scrolling, now I spend my time doing. Uh, clearly not talking to people. But whether or not you delete it is entirely up to you. This film isn't supposed to persuade you to delete social media or to keep social media. It's actually just to tell you that I have no real friends. So can you please follow me on Lego Life? My account is LadyTurkey100. Um, I, I'm not 18 yet, so why is it so orange? I can't verify my account because I'm not 18, so I can't post any of my LEGO creations on there, but you know when I'm getting verified, I'm going to become one of the top 1% creators on, on LEGO Life. Hello, this is the film for the outro. Wait, this is the outro for the film that you just saw. How about you learn something? You know, um, I appreciate you for being here. It means a lot to me that you actually stick around to the, to the very end and watch me talk about whatever. So, I'm not gonna lie though, I'm feeling kind of nauseous right now. So, I'm gonna go probably vomit in a toilet. You should go brush your teeth. And I'm gonna leave you with a cinematic shot of that roll of tape right here. Look at that. That is that is beautiful. See you next time.